In other news tonight, an eight-year-old boy and his father are in the hospital after a snowmobile crash on a Minnesota lake. It happened just before 8 o'clock last night on Chisago Lake. The family says Alan Geisencotter Jr. was critically injured along with his father, Alan Sr. Deputies say the father was assembling the family's portable ice house when they were hit. WCCO's Kate Raditz shares what could be behind the collision. Snowfall! Snow fort! Snow fort today, it's warm enough. It's a beautiful January Saturday out on the lake. Less than 24 hours earlier, it was the scene of a horrific accident. We started seeing the squad cars come right in front of our house here onto the lake. A witness took this video of the scene of responders on a pitch black night, where a 43 year old father, who was assembling a portable ice house similar to this one, was hit by a snowmobiler along with his young son, Alan Jr. A day later, Marty Long is taking his grandsons out to their ice house. And when we knew it was something bad, when we saw the helicopter. The helicopter was called to airlift the boy, whose family say is only eight years old. On the boy's Caring Bridge site, the family says the mother tried to yell for Alan Jr. to get out of the way, but it was too late. He was hit and then dragged by the snowmobile, according to the family. Snowmobiles can go 80 miles per hour now. And that's fine. You know, it's, it's Minnesota and great outdoors. You know, everybody's doing it, having fun at this time. Really, it's a beautiful day. You don't drive those things that close to uh, fish houses. A family member told WCCO the boy, in critical condition, has head trauma and two broken legs that will require surgery. His father was also taken to the hospital with non life threatening injuries. The driver admitted to authorities that they had been drinking prior to the accident, but once they got on shore here, refused to provide a breath sample. So authorities obtained a search warrant and informed the driver that they were under arrest. They're still in the hospital for their injuries, and no charges have been filed yet. And the Chisago County Sheriff's Office is waiting to release the name of the snowmobile driver until formal charges have been filed in this case. If you would like to help the family, we have more information on how to do that at WCCO.com links.